Germany is a beautiful place. An autumn in New England is muy especial. Magical. <sighs> if only things with my family were as clear as the sky tonight. Do they love me? Or are they just using me like the old man at the mansion said? I'll pray for guidance. Bueno? Paloma? Es tu tía. Mija, ¿cómo has estado? Ay, tía, I don't know. Harmony is beautiful. Well, I haven't seen much. Mama fainted. No me digas. Oh, but she's okay now. Her doctor lives on the Crane estate. Tia no sabes. Mama y Teresa have the best of everything. Clothes, servants. I don't see any sign that the family is struggling to make ends meet. You know, the, the Cranes pay for everything. Well, maybe now they do, but before... No, tia. Before, when Teresa thought she was married to Julian Crane, they could have sent for me. But they didn't. Why did it take so long for my family to bring me home to Harmony? Paloma, escúchame. Never think that your family didn't want you home in Harmony long before now. Then why didn't they bring me home sooner? Because everyone thought it best that you finished preparatoria here in Mexico. Then, Pilar lost your family's home because of that conflict between Teresa and... Oh, that Rebecca Crane and her daughter Gwen. And you know, the Cranes kept your family from finding work in Harmony. And before that, they did struggle for years just to get by after your father disappeared. Now, if the family seems to be doing well now, it's due to Teresa's being surrogate to Julian Crane's daughter-in-law. I don't mean to be disrespectful, Tia, but I've heard excuses my whole life. It's always been, Paloma will bring you home soon, for Christmas, for Easter. For summer break. Pronto, Paloma, pronto. No, they were not excuses. They were reasons for you to stay in Puerto Arena with me. Pilar thought it best not to disrupt your life. Tia, I don't want to argue with you. You know I love you. Uh, sí, yo te quiero mucho también, mija. The whole family does. Then the whole family should have brought me home sooner. How could my life or anyone else's be disrupted by coming home to Harmony? Oh, I, sorry. No, uh, I mean, excuse me, I wasn't looking where I was going. I'm sorry, I wouldn't pay attention either. I've got a lot on my mind. You're Chet Harris. I recognize you from pictures my sister Teresa has in her room at the mansion. Oh, oh, you must be Paloma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your mother had your picture up next to her bed in the hospital the whole time she was there. She did? Yeah. I, I heard um, Luis and Sheridan went to Mexico to bring you back to Harmony. Uh, bienvenida a casa. <laughs> Gracias. De nada. So, uh, how are your mother and Teresa doing? Well, my mother fainted earlier, but she's okay now. And Teresa, well, she seems fine. She loves living at your house. My house. Uh, you mean the Crane Mansion? Yes, I read that you're a Crane now. <laughs> Don't remind me. And as for the Crane Mansion being my crib, well, uh, no way, Jose. Um, <clears throat> who's Jose? Uh, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's an expression. Oh. Uh, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> so, uh, you're new here. We'll enjoy it. You know, I used to love Harmony before... Before you found out who your parents are. And that the woman you were going to marry, Whitney, is your half-sister. Bad news travels fast. I'm sorry. I can't imagine what it must be like for you. Yeah, well, it was hell. And it's getting worse by the minute. I mean, it turns out that my half-brother Fox is in love with Whitney. Has been for a while. That lion dog. You know, he's just like our father. Julian Crane. 
I met him and Dr. Russell at the mansion when Mama was taken ill. They seem nice. Well, they're not. They're lying scum. You know, and because of their lies, I fell in love with my sister. And now, because of the tabloids, everybody knows I'm Chad Harris Crane, the bastard that bedded his sister. You know, you're lucky you have a normal family. Normal? My family packed me off to live in another country with my aunt when I was a baby. Now, I've known your family for years, Paloma. Uh, I don't think they're like that. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm not even sure my family loves me or that they really want me here in harmony. Now, I, I can't believe your family brought you back to Harmony just because your mother was sick. I mean, every time I heard them talk about you, it sounded like you were special to them. But not special enough to bring me home until now. Well, at least when they sent you away, they kept in touch. You know, you knew who they were when you were growing up. And I didn't. Now, my bigot grandfather kidnapped me from the hospital I was born in, kept me hidden from my parents. <laughs> and, and they... They didn't even try to look for me until recently. But I read that... They thought you were dead until recently. Yeah, yeah, that's what they said. Why should I believe them when they lied about other stuff? Yeah, it's hard to know what's true and what's not. Like my father saying he loves me and then trying to bribe me into loving him back. Bribe you? How? Well, he offered me this great job at Crane Industries, my own record label, the corner office, you name it. That must involve a lot of money. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many zeros are on that contract. You should take the offer. But I don't even trust my father. Hell, I don't even like the guy. So what? The key to getting back at your parents is to accept that offer. All right, so why is taking a job at Crane Industries a ticket to getting back at my folks? Their lies and secrets ruined your life, right? Hell yeah. Don't be mad. Use the job your father offered you to get even with both of your parents. Paloma, what are you saying exactly? Listen, you can get revenge on your parents by going to work at Crane Industries. Use all that money your father has offered you and the power that comes with it to punish your parents for ruining your life and witness. Punish your brother Fox for taking with me.